right, so in today's tech video, we're going to unbox this, the Samsung UHD TV 43 inch, it's the 6 series, the NU6900. That's today's video. Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So if you're watching this, I assume that maybe you're in the market to get this new Samsung television um, that is an ultra high definition. And um, hopefully this video will be helpful to you and show you what exactly that you're gonna get. I'm gonna talk about the specs um, and what this thing can do, show you what it looks like and just unbox it. So let's uh, get to it. All right, so before we cut into this thing, let's look at some of the specs on this. This is the 43 inch, um, which comes out to be about 42 and a half when you measure it uh, from corner to corner, 42 and a half. And we'll measure that once we get it all unboxed. But it's got the two HDMI ports. It is the 4K UHD, which I love the ultra high definition televisions. And it's got the 360 design, which, Looks uh, stylish from front to back, whether mounted on a wall or sitting on a stand. Uh, these TVs look great like that. But this is uh, the pure color uh, with 16 million shades of color that deliver a uh, vibrant picture. Um, it does have the HDR uh, high dynamic range content. It's got a motion rate of 120, so that has that smooth action on the fast moving content. Um, and it does have the ultra high definition engine, which I've mentioned before, but it is 4K. I think just about all the TVs that you buy nowadays are becoming 4K. Uh, this one here is a smart TV, which is another thing that's becoming a standard when it comes to televisions. Everything is going smart. Uh, no more need of buying a stick to put in your television. They're becoming smart on all of them. So, all right, let's uh, dive into this thing and see what it looks like. Right off the bat here, we have the quick setup guide. I know, normally don't ever read these things. Uh, but we'll go ahead and pull this up. Here's one of the legs. And then here's the other leg. All right. Oh, and here we have a power cable and the remote. guide that tells all the specs on it. Looks like it's got the um, plastic bolts on there in case you want to mount it. The batteries for the remote. That's what's inside this package here. Okay, throw that off this side and there's a TV. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box. They put the plastic on all the way around the edges, which I like. This is always the fun part of unboxing is peeling off the plastic off of there. Well, this one's on there and I can't really get it off. Okay, so this one has that really thin bezel right there. And about the only markings is that Samsung logo and nameplate there, but everything else has that black bezel there. We'll go ahead and measure it with my trusty tape measure here to give you an idea of what that bezel measures. But it's looking at just about a half an inch on that bezel. So yeah, they're making these things pretty narrow all the way around. Okay, so let's get this TV turned around so that way you can see the back of it. Uh, see what the HDMI ports look like. Um, what it looks like behind there whenever we stall the, the legs for it and um, give you guys a look at the back. Okay, so this is what the back of the TV looks like right here. It's kind of a, it's got some 
texture to it. Usually a lot of these TVs are just smooth like that, but it's got the four uh, screw holes there in case you mount it on the wall. And that's what I'm gonna be doing with this actually. Uh, but let's look at the ports that are on the back. It's got the USB port here, if you, in case you wanna plug in a USB stick there. It's got the digital audio optical cable port, which I will be using. Uh, it's got two HDMIs right here, and it's got the LAN port in case you want to run your uh, Wi-Fi cable and your Ethernet cable right in there directly. And then it's got the antenna cable in there in case you have one of those on or open air antennas that you want to put on this. But um, right here is where you would install the legs. So the legs come looking like that. And they have screws here, which you would screw, you put it on there like that, and then it'll hold it. But I'm not going to be using these uh, legs. I'm not gonna be mounting this onto a wall, but this is what it looks like uh, on the back. Uh, over here also is where you plug in the power cable. And sometimes some of these TVs will have where you can hide the cable uh, so that it's more discreet, but this one doesn't really have a notch cut out like that. I have seen some of these Samsungs where they do have that, uh, so that way you can have better cable management. TV installed on the wall, batteries in place in the remote. We'll go ahead and get the setup process started. Turn it on. And we'll turn off this light so that way we can see the screen really good. Some nice ambient music on the setup process. Very fancy. Okay, we'll wait Hello for the person. And welcome. Please download the Smart Things app on your mobile to start TV setup. Okay, and I already have the Smart Things app installed on my you phone. Press the right button to set up the TV with the TV remote. Please select your language. All right, we are going to. Accessibility gonna... function is available when you press and hold the mute button. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get it set up with the remote control instead of going through the SmartThings app. Okay, and then it discovers the local Wi-Fi connection networks. Alright, so it's discovering the Wi-Fi connection. And we are connected. All right, now we'll agree to all. I don't know anybody that actually reads those things. And then you'll have to sign in with your Samsung account. So if you don't have one, go ahead and create one now. I do have one, so we'll sign in. Okay, so the next step is to select if you are running a dish box like a direct TV or um, dish network. I'm not running any of them, so I do. Okay, so now we're here at the make your smart hub screen and this is where you are selecting some of the apps that you want to add to it on um, 
as a default. So um, I am going to add the Apple TV, um, YouTube TV I don't have, and I don't think I'm going to add any of the other ones. So just Apple TV on that screen. Your TV is ready to use. So we'll click done. All right. All right, so the ambient TV light is on, so it'll adjust automatically on the brightness, which is really cool. Uh, so whenever we turn on the light, the screen does get lighter. And then if we turn off the light, the screen gets brighter. So that's kind of a nice feature that Samsung incorporates into their TVs. Okay, so once you have it all set up, you can come over and add any kind of apps that you want that it doesn't have installed on there as default. Uh, so most of these apps are probably the ones that you are going to use. Hulu, Netflix, maybe uh, your Disney Plus, and Apple TV. Those are probably your main um, apps that people are using nowadays. So Hulu, Netflix, Prime Video, that's all installed on there by default. Uh, Google Play, for those of you guys who are Android users, that's on here as default. Uh, but you can add some of these other um, ones that I'm not really familiar with. So I don't know that I'm going to install too many. I'll just keep the ones that are on default. And then you press the home button and it brings up the screen on the bottom. So now you just sign in to all your accounts and start enjoying your TV. Okay, so now I've got it all installed on there. I've got it programmed and ready to go. I just gotta sign it to some of my accounts. I'll hide these wires right here. Um, soon I'm gonna drill a hole in my wall and hide the wires behind there. But one thing I did want to show you guys is the measurement on these things. I wanna see if they are exactly um, this, the measurement that they advertise. So it says a 43 inch TV, but are we getting 43 inches on the screen? Now uh, let's take a look. So if we measure, corner corner we're at 42 and a half inches so that's the actual viewing of the screen from edge to edge there on diagonal it's 42 and a half inches so um, yeah, it's a good size TV for this particular space especially um, I don't know what your uh, space looks like but this is what the UHD Samsung 43 or 6 series TV looks like it's got a pretty good picture. Um, the ultra high definition, you can't go wrong with that. Um, it's kind of like a standard anymore. If you're gonna get a TV, just go to the UHD. Um, that's the way to do it. And it's a smart TV, so no need to put any kind of Roco stick in there or a Fire Stick or anything like that. It's all built into the Samsung hub there on their smart TV line. So it's a great TV so far. This is the unboxing. Hopefully it helped you guys uh, on knowing what this TV is gonna be like if you're in the market to buy it. If you are, I'm gonna have links in the description down below of where you can get this thing. Um, if you like this video, make sure you throw a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I do tech videos all the time and I'd love to have you back in the next one. So until then, be great.